Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're gonna jump right in. Today's topic is your transformation requires constant refocus. Your transformation requires constant refocus. So if you're watching this, the collective or the group of people I'm speaking to today, you're in the middle of a huge transition or change in your life. You may be just about to begin one, you may be just starting it, you may be in the middle, or you may even be near the end. But at any point along your journey, you understand that, man, transformation is difficult. Change, change is difficult. It is a challenge to really transform who you are and who your life because everything that you're focusing on or creating is coming from the inside. It's coming from your internal set of beliefs. It's coming from your thoughts, your daily habits. This is all stuff that's produced internally, that positive or negative self-talk, whatever the case may be. On the road to transformation, when we're trying to achieve this bigger vision, we're improving our lives in one or multiple areas. As the saying goes, old habits die hard. So your transformation, it requires constant refocus and it's important for you to have a set of habits or practices, things you do to consistently realign you and refocus with what you are achieving the changes that you are instilling in your life, the new habits that are forming, the letting go of old things, because again, old habits die hard. You will get to a point where along your journey of transformation and things are going well or not so well, whatever the case may be, it's gonna be different for you as it is for everybody else. You will have a point though in which your old, ha your, your old habits, your old ways of living your life will creep in in order to sabotage you. And that's because when we're making progress, yes, sometimes our outside world, our external influences, our partners, our lovers, spouses, uh, our family members, our close friends, our coworkers, people we spend time with, the new social media, it can and will have an impact on you, but your internal set of beliefs that inner transformation that you've been working so hard to create and still are, the second we let our foot off the gas or sometimes when we have a big win in our vision, in our path, we can say, oh man, I did it, I'm here. And then we let our foot off the gas, but you've probably recognized this as you do that, the second you take your foot off the gas, it may be a couple days, maybe a couple weeks, maybe even a couple months go by, slowly but surely your old habits and all these things, these changes that you had made in order to get to this new elevated upgraded place in your life all these things that you were doing the way you were thinking it starts to fall back into the old ways because again old habits die hard so your transformation requires constant refocus because this is a natural process of growth it's to go two step forwards and take one step back and every time we take a step back we're faced with a decision and a test the decision is are you going to continue to fall back into your old ways? Because if you do, you're obviously gonna get what you've always had, right? You do the same things the way you've done them, you're gonna get what you've always got. Or will you catch yourself in the wake of being unconscious and asleep and go, oh my God, I'm doing what I used to do. No wonder the weight's coming back on. No wonder I'm getting sloppy with my spending and my budget. I made all this money, no matter my sales or my performance at work or the growth of my company has slowed down because we take our foot off the gas. So your transformation requires constant refocus. Now, it's not to say that you're not to take breaks and you're supposed to go and burn your ass out until you have zero energy and can't do anything and then you're done. No, 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 you have to take breaks, strategic breaks, in order to regroup, re-energize yourself, refocus. And again, that's part of this video. Do not take your foot off the gas, or if you have, it's okay if you're resting but refocus and come back to what it is you want to do, what it is you want to create and begin to build that momentum. If you have fallen off and you probably have because you're watching this video, just get back on it. Just get back on it because it's natural. So your transformation requires constant refocus. Change is difficult. Old habits die hard. You will change, but you will fall back into your old ways 
of being your habits, the old way of thinking, the way that you used to live, the way you used to drive to work, the way you used to dress, old habits die hard. There's nothing wrong with taking some of these old things that we used to have in our lives if they help us move forward, but quite often, creating a new, a new life requires a new you, obviously, right? Because if you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got. So as you change and you're becoming a new person, you're gonna let go of a lot of the old ways of thinking, of being, of how you used to do things. And that is gonna require a refocus, a recalibration, a refocus, a recalibration, intention, moving forward. And over time, as you begin to instill these new beliefs, these new ways of thinking, these new habits that have gotten you so far and created so much positive uh, production and results in your life, Little by little, as you reinforce it, you fall back, you come in, you fall back, you come in, you don't fall back as hard, or you come back in, you come back in stronger, it's easier to stay focused because what's happening is you're laying down a new foundation, a new set of beliefs for yourself, a new life, a new you, and little by little, you're changing over time. Just like when you work out and you get in shape, your body doesn't completely magically change overnight. It's these little workouts over and over. It's these little changes in your eating habits and your sleep and your water intake. These little things over and over and okay, cool. You went out on vacation for three days and it's been a week and a half since you've been to the gym. That's all good and this is what I mean. You come back, you refocus. You don't have to go as hard as you were in the gym before because you've lost some momentum. Just come back in and just see if you can go and do half the workouts you were doing. Just start getting in the habit of going again. And that's where, again, your transformation requires the constant refocus. So no matter when or how much you fall off, what's important is that you constantly come back to refocus on what it is you want to do. Because the transformation, man, who knows how long it takes. It may only take a month, it may take six months, it may take six years. But what if it did take six years or longer, but you were the absolute best version of yourself you've ever been in your life, you're unstoppable, you're making more money, you're in the relationship of your dreams, you live a life of adventure, fulfillment, you're healthy, all these things that you want. What if it did take six years? What if it took 10? Wouldn't it be worth it? Of course it would. That's why we're striving to do that. But we often self-sabotage ourselves by falling off and discontinuing or changing the way that we were doing things that was helping us build the progress. So we have to build the momentum. This is what self-sabotage is, is when the old habits die hard and we don't refocus or we make mistakes and fall back into our old patterns because we will, you will, you're human. It's just what we do. This is self-sabotage. We must consistently refocus. You will never experience some, or, or you will experience some wins in the right direction. So I wrote this part down because this is where I'm at. I've been working so hard this entire year, especially especially the past five months. Man, oh my gosh, it's been so much change and it's been amazing. And I finally reached this place where I was able to take a break. I was like, okay, I, my job's like in the flow. I've got, you know, I'm make, making good money out here. Work seems comfortable. I uh, got into a new apartment. Okay, I just need, and then now I'm gonna get a promotion. I'm like, focus on work, it's all good. I noticed myself getting lazy starting to cut corners in my personal life. I noticed that work within myself, I was like cutting a corner and I was like, what am I doing? I'm like, this is not me, this is who I am. Old habits die hard and I caught myself and I realized that it's a form of self-sabotage and this is why I'm making this video. It's a reminder to you, reminder to me, because uh, you're probably going through the same thing, law of resonance, law of vibration, that's why you're watching this video. Do not let yourself slip or if you do, forgive yourself and understand that it's okay, you slipped up you made a mistake, like it's all right. You have to forgive yourself and let that go. And then this is the title of the video where you've got to come in, you've got to refocus your energy, get back on the way of thinking that you were thinking, get back on the habits, the sleeping early, the drinking enough water, the going to the gym at the same time every day, whatever was working for you. This is just a sign to refocus, focus on what was working in the first place. Because if you don't, little by little, we'll fall backwards. So when you achieve a benchmark of success and you have like, okay, man, clearly what I'm doing is working. Yeah. It's very easy for us to take our foot off the gas. This is what's happened to me. So you'll experience some wins on the right direction. It's easy to become complacent. You may experience some wins and it may take a big weight off your shoulder and you go, oh, and then we trick ourselves into thinking, oh, I made it. I'm done. No, you're not done. You've only experienced progress in the right direction because you were doing all the right things and then we get complacent and we start to fall backwards. This is what's happening to me, it might be happening to you too. No, refocus on what it is you want. What is it you need to change that was working before that you're no longer doing? 
what were those changes you made? Where are you starting to back off? You were so on your diet, you're, you're seeing these amazing results, you're feeling better than you ever have. Then for whatever reason, you had a one weekend and ever since the one weekend, you haven't gone to the gym in one week, you're not eating like you used to, you said, oh, screw it, I'm just falling back in my old ways. That's fine, that's okay, but don't let yourself slip all the way back. Again, refocus, focus on your transformation, what do you want? Go back to doing the things that were working for you. Eventually, they will just become you and you won't have to have this process of refocusing because it'll just be the new you. This is just your new habits, this is who you are, that's who you're becoming. So especially after a win, we take our foot off the gas, it's okay to rest, but don't rest on your laurels for too long, you've heard that before. So when you experience a win, it's okay to go, oh my God, dude, I just had the biggest month of sales of my life. I've been kicking ass. You can either go full bore, conquer, and um, uh, take advantage of the momentum that you've built. I recommend it. If you do feel you need a rest, you're at that burnout point. Maybe you've had six months of great sales, right? Just using a random example. Take a rest, chill out, but don't rest in your laurels for too long and allow yourself to slip backwards Use that time to refocus your energy, take your mind off everything, come back even stronger. You're in the middle of a transformation. This is a new you that's emerging. So you're probably, if you're watching this, in what I call the in-between stage, meaning you're so different the way you used to be from even a month ago, but especially even three months ago or six months ago, you didn't even recognize yourself. So you know that you've changed so much, you left so many bad situations, people, relationships, uh, habits, all these things behind. You're not quite in the new stage yet. It hasn't quite clarified or formed, but you feel really good. This is where we're susceptible to starting to begin to fall back. And the closer you get to that transformation where you reach that threshold and go, oh my God, I am in a new period of my life. Everything looks so different. When we, that's, when we, that's when you can tell you're making progress, when you start to self-sabotage unconsciously until you catch yourself and you go, oh crap, I'm falling into the old me. That means that you were so close to having that final transformation, that line, that crossover, reaching the next threshold, reaching the next benchmark that your ego was like, ah, 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 and your old ways started to creep in. This is how your ego creeps in a little bit in order to self-sabotage you. That's how you know you're on the right track and you're close. So it's all good. This requires a lot of self-forgiveness. You're going to screw up. You're going to make mistakes. You're gonna fall back in your old ways. Hopefully none of them really bite you in the butt. If they do, it's okay. We learn from and move on. But it's okay to fall back. This is natural. Two steps forward, one step back. What's more important is that you refocus on your vision, start with the habits, you know we're working for you. Your sleep, your workouts, yoga, meditation, your journaling, your uh, Pilates class, your, uh, you know, you were working with a coach, seeing a therapist, all these things you were doing, whatever was working, go back to doing that and then modify, build because you're different now so it may not be as effective, but it's okay. Again, I've said it a million times this video and this is the point, your transformation, the life you're building requires a constant refocus. This is why it's so hard. We get pulled back into our old ways over and over and over again. So it's about momentum. What's all that's happened is you've built this really powerful momentum and that really powerful momentum had you break through some hurdles that you did not break through previously. After you broke through those, through those hurdles, you said, oh my God, I made it subconsciously. I'm a success. You took your foot off the gas. So some of the momentum has left or stopped altogether. It's all good. It doesn't matter. Just begin to rebuild the momentum. Refocus on what you want and start that by refocusing on the habits that were working, that were building that positive momentum. You are seeing tangible changes. Next time when you go through and you get to that point and you're seeing some wins, now you'll be that much wiser and go, oh, I remember when I was here last time, I took my foot off the gas. Don't take your foot on the gas, off the gas. Just keep going. Fire it back up. Keep going. Refocus. That's what this is about. Your transformation requires constant refocus. It's a lot of work but oh my God, is it worth it? You know it. Um, and it doesn't, you know, dude, life is difficult. It doesn't stop, guys. There really is levels to this. But you'll notice as you break through some of these levels, you can't go back to things that you used to want in your life. You can't go back to similar people and relationships because you've changed. This is growth. This is where you're heading. This is how you know you're in the right direction. And then once you've reached a point in your life where you've had these experiences where everything is improved from the work you go through, you're not as reluctant to do the work to get back into these practices to do the focus. As a matter of fact, it becomes like a grounding place of solace and comfort and you look forward to really getting back on the grind because you become comfortable being uncomfortable and you know and have seen and now felt the physical results from all of the hard work that you've been putting in internally. So refocus, it's all good. Forgive yourself for any mistakes you made, for falling back, 
be at peace with them, spend some time with the pain, whatever you need to release. It's okay, forgive yourself, compassion, it's all right, you messed up, or maybe you didn't, hopefully you didn't, and even if you did, who cares? Again, what matters is that you drop the guilt, drop the shame, refocus. What is it you want? Start doing the little things that were getting you there. The quotes I'll leave you with today, the successful warrior is the average man with laser-like fo focus. That's Bruce Lee. So the successful warrior is the average man or woman with laser-like focus. So it's not necessarily that these people doing amazing things are any better or more capable than us. What I've learned and begun to experience in my life, and I'm sure you have too, it's when you become almost an obsessive-like focus where you're not distracted and nobody and no thing can distract you from the things you need to do in order to produce what it is you want in your life. Laser-like focus. It's the, we're all average, we're all the same. It's the laser-like focus and the energy over time that produces these amazing results. So no worries, keep going in your transformation, refocus on what you need to be doing. The last quote I'll leave you with today, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. C.S. Lewis. So that just goes to say, guys, you are, and you know this, you're writing a story to your life in real time. You're writing the story of your life in real time. You are the author, you're the actor, the director, the producer, you're making all of this stuff. The ending and what it's been up to this point, the story of your life is what it is. What the question is, what will you focus on now? What will you refocus on now in order to get you moving in that direction that you want to be so that when you're looking at this particular chapter of your life or this next upcoming one, you go, damn, I remember when I was that age and that situation, that was when I decided to change it all. And you'll look back and read the story, read the chapter and the story of your life and go, that's when everything changed and it got better and it didn't stop from there. So refocus, transformation, this stuff is not for the faints of heart. It is so difficult. It is so much work and you're probably one of the few ones that are doing it in your family or friend group because you are a light worker, you're one of the black sheep one of the star seeds that's what we signed up for so you're not alone though even though it is hard work it seems like that at times so please give yourself some credit compassion and forgiveness that's first and foremost you screwed up or you fell out of alignment or whatever you've been falling off that's fine it's all good what matters is that you begin to redirect your energy and build momentum positive momentum in the direction of your life so that you can clearly see the connection and alignment you have with what it is you want in your life whether it's more money or to work for yourself or a partner or a family or adventure, whatever it is, do the things that we're working. So I love you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. Peace.